For today's money makeup lesson, we're really going to focus on beginners. But for those of you who aren't beginners, I hope that this will help you gain a better understanding to help any beginners in your life too. Because today we are going to be using all purples, no neutrals to create a very easy makeup look. Using three shades of purple, our main purple shade, a matte muted purple, and a deep purple. Pairing that with your favorite blush of your choosing and favorite highlighter, which is optional, we're going to create this look. This is a great introduction into using color, and I have two other looks using purple in different ways on their way as well. So if that interests you, then I might suggest hitting the subscribe button below. It's totally free. And if you're already subscribed, then thank you and welcome back. Now let's get started creating this look. So our first step is always to apply an eyeshadow primer all over the lid and right up to the brows. This is going to give our eyeshadow something to hold on to, but because mine is slightly tinted, it also disguises any natural discoloration that I might have on my lid, creating a blank canvas for us to work on. Now obviously you can swap this out for concealer, but you won't find that you have as much grip and as much staying power that you get from using a primer. But for beginners, if you don't have an eyeshadow primer, you can use concealer, just for now. The first shadow that we're going to be taking is this mauve tone, and this is going to be applied into the crease of the eye. So above the lid, into the crease, and blend it upwards. Think of this as almost like your contour shade. Now the best way to describe this shadow is if you took a purple, you drained some of the color, and then you had almost like a gray effect. And what we're doing with this is swapping out our bronzer and our contour and using this to create our framework. This is going to create some structure and some shaping around the eyes. Now, obviously you can use your contour and your bronzer on your eye and you can do it for this look. However, it will create more of a muted, more of a neutral look. And we want to move away from those and try to opt for a little bit of color. So if you can, choose a shade like this and grab your favorite blending brush, which I just washed. That's why it's a extra fluffy, fluffy blending brush. And you're going to try and keep the eyes a little bit open and blend this above the lid. So where the lid creases into the eye shape, that's where we want to apply this. I also like to bring my hand down in front of me and kind of push upwards. This is also a great way to disguise any hoodedness that you might have across your lid as well. It almost recedes the hood and pushes it backwards because this is almost like a contour shade. The majority of the shadow should be right in the crease of the eye and then blend it upwards and fade it into nothing. And then you should end up with something that looks like this. Next, we're gonna take our main purple shade. So any purple shade that you like that has a little bit of a frosted finish. And we're going to apply this with a flat brush, bringing our hand off to the side because we don't wanna crowd the area in front of our eye. Best to bring your hand off to the side so you can see what you're doing. I want you to saturate the lid with this purple. Starting in the center of the lid, I want you to blend out and I want you to blend in making sure to cover the entire lid, but stopping right at the crease. You can use your fingertips for this, but I would recommend using a flat brush because it does make things a lot easier. And you should have something that looks like this. I'm gonna grab that same blending brush that we used before, and I'm just gonna very softly blend the edges just to make sure that we don't have any harsh lines between the lid and the crease. Now moving on, we're using a slightly deeper purple and we're going to apply this on the outer edge of the eye to add a bit more structure and a bit more depth. A pencil brush is great for any of your darker shadows because it gives you a lot more control. And we're going to focus this on the outer third of the lid. This is just going to add a little bit more depth. It's going to lift the eyes a little bit more and brighten up the inner corner. And then you should end up with something that looks like this. Now for a bonus step, I want you to grab a clean blending brush, maybe something a little bit bigger. And I want you to take your blush, any blush that you plan on using today. I want you to take a small amount of that and I want you to apply it right in the crease of the eye. 
Now this should barely kiss the skin. It should be so lightweight. And the best way to get a really sheer amount of product on the skin is to hold the brush really far down on the handle so it has a lot of movement. And this will just ever so slightly apply a sheer amount of your product. We don't want to actually see this blush, it's a subtle hint, it's a subtle fade that will just bring the entire look together once you've finished off with the rest of your makeup. Another step is to take your favorite highlighter that you use on your face and just apply this on the inner corner of the eye. I always just like doing this because it brightens up the eyes. And then you should end up with something that looks like this. Really easy, really subtle, we have some depth. We have some color. We didn't use any neutrals, which was great. And all you have to do then is finish off with your favorite mascara, your favorite lashes. And for underneath the eye, what I like to do is take a mixture of the shadows that we've been applying. And as always, what do we do when we're applying underneath? We always look upwards and apply this right underneath the lashes on the lower lash line. You can also take a little bit of the blush underneath the eyes as well, but that's totally optional. And then there you go. That is the finished look. I really hope that you will try this one out. Even if purple isn't your shade, give it a go because it's a great way to introduce yourself into using some color. I really hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, definitely let me know. If you'd like to see more of this series, you can check out the information box. Definitely let me know if there's any other shadows or shades you'd like to see me use. And as always, my friends, be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and I'll see you in the next one really soon.